A federal grand jury has formally charged a suspect with 27 counts of firearm and hate crime charges. He faces a maximum of life in prison or the death penalty. The United States Attorney General says he'll decide later on if he's going to seek the death penalty, the suspect, due to be arraigned on that federal indictment on Monday morning. The I-team, though, has been working for two months now to get access to public records that information you should otherwise be able to access. But new this morning, some of that is being kept secret, being hidden from the public view. That includes what was found inside the suspect's home by state police and the FBI. State police and the FBI raided the suspect's Conklin, New York home the day after the shooting. But new this morning, in working to find out what was found and what was seized from the home, the I-team was told all of that information is being kept hidden because of a court order. But we know a little bit about what was found from a criminal complaint filed in federal court last month. The FBI says they found a handwritten note where the suspect apologized to his family for committing this attack and that he had to commit this attack in his own words because he cares for the future of the white race. According to the complaint, the suspect also had sketches of the inside of the store and a receipt for a candy bar from Tops from back in March. You can see my full I-team reporting with much more depth about what was found as we've learned through court documents on WKBW.com. Just click on the I-team tab.